Hey guys, it's Mossy. Welcome back to my channel and happy, I don't know if it's Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. It is currently 6.43 in the morning. I've actually found this is a really good time for me to film because one, the lighting is like perfect because I don't have it like shining in through the window so it's not like washing me out. But yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and review of something that I'm probably the last person in all of YouTube to try out and that is Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadows. So finally, I swore to myself, I'm like, I'm not trying it out until they come in store because I knew one day it would be in store. And this is like back when she came with her first eyeshadow palette. And now they're in store in Ulta. So I decided to pick one up. I didn't want to, I'm tired of like owning like the same stuff. So I didn't pick up any one that was very similar where I already had. So I actually picked up the Kylie Jenner, the Blue Honey palette. And this is going to be the one that I'm trying out today. And then I got a coinciding lip. I've already, I already know that I love her um, liquid lipsticks. But I got the uh, lip kit, the uh, Dirty Peach one to go with it. So I'm gonna just go ahead, jump right in, zoom in, and we will get started. So, um, excuse all of this. I'm, you know, very tired, and excuse my nails. I, I can't paint my, I get nail polish here when I try and paint my nails. Like, that's how bad it is. So we need to start with some eyeshadow primer, um, cause these dark veins are unforgivable. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm using my Luscious Angel Eyes one that I've been talking about. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime. I like this primer because it uh, is a good eyeshadow base in conjunction with sort of concealing those dark veins. Like, of course, I would use this as like a straight up concealer. We're gonna dive right into the palette. I haven't swatched this. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Um, so, ugh, let's open it up. So, we have these shade names on the back, which I appreciate. And then here is the actual packaging itself. It's really, really cool looking. I like that a lot. And take out this stupid paper thing. And there's a mirror, which I appreciate. I'm actually going to put that mirror back now so I can just use this one. And here are the shades. I don't have a palette like this, except for, I guess I, I guess the uh, subculture palette is kind of similar. But um, yeah, I don't have a palette. This is my collection. I'm just going to dive in. So I'm going to be taking a little rag, get excess pigment onto my brush. The shade Raw right here, just to kind of start the process of like blending shadows. So this is going to be kind of like to set my eyeshadow base. Just slightly dusty, but that's pretty common with shadows. All right, so we're going to be starting out with Sweet Like Honey. It's a really pretty, like, yellowy shade. I'm using the same brush to do that with. I'm raising my eyebrows because I don't want it to go up too high on the inner corner. Cool, that blended out nicely, nice. Okay, so why, what is going on? Like, why is it? Why is it? I feel like I'm like so out of focus right now. Am I out of focus? Like, is that what's happening here? Now I'm going right into the shade Blue Honey. This is a shade I'm like so freaking excited to try. So I want to go and start out with. Let's see, cause I'm, I want to pack it on first. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna use this brush again. I'm just gonna get again the pigment off of it, nice and clean. And dipping right into Blue Honey. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted. That is so pretty. Oh, that's not. Ooh. product I'm 
I'm gonna keep the center um, nice and light because I'm gonna go in with a shimmer. But um, that is what we have so far, you guys. This shade is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this shade. So I have this shade from Unique. It's called Cynical. Yeah, this one's a lot more darker. Yeah, it's a darker version of it. Okay, yeah, so they're nothing like I literally I don't I don't have a single shade in my this is why I got this one. I don't have a single shade in my collection that looks like that. Oh, this is definitely one that I feel like I should have added to my collection. So I'm glad I went with this palette instead of the other ones. God, you guys, this is like a beautiful shade. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to take a little bit of Sweet Like Honey again to kind of go over that, blend that out. Taking a little bit of Busy B, I want to kind of connect those two shades together. Yeah. Mm, did I want to do that? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm going back into Sweet Like Honey because I like the more yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and now I need a little bit of the eyeshadow primer again. So now I'm going to take the shade Bumble, which is like that shimmery shade. I'm still taking my MAC 242. And I'm just going to stamp it over top. Sorry, you guys can't see. Now I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to go into Royal Jelly, which is like a shimmery version of that bluey shade. And I'm going to connect the matte, oops, I'm just going to connect the matte with uh, the gold. So can I say, as you can see, I'm kind of making it fade. Just like that. And now I'm going to go in with a small brush. Um, I want my E45 from Sigma because that's going to do exactly what I want it to do for this very thing. But I'm not seeing it right now. I think it's just like in my super dirty pile. So I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and then I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm just taking the Sigma pencil E30 to touch up the matte because you really want it to be a nice fade you guys small brushes are your best friend trust me they are the best I love working with small brushes taking the little teeny tiny one this is the Morphe e M506 taking a little bit of royal jelly on a fluffy brush again there, that is exactly what I needed it to do. And then a little bit more of Bumble. A little bit more Royal Jelly on this side. And then gently blend that all together. There we go, that's, yeah, that's a good fade. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same on this eye. I'm gonna make a makeup wipe. I don't really have any fallout. I just wanna kinda like sharpen the line out here. Oh god, I love that. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love... I officially love this palette. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now that's really, really good. That is my review on it. But I do want to... And of course, I'm gonna finish my face for you guys. But, you guys, that is incredible. Like, that fade and just how everything blended out. The pigment, oh my god. It is so good. Okay, so there's still 10 days left to get the Flawless 4 bundle, which is primer, foundation, concealer, and powder for only $99.
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that today. This is the Touch Glorious Luminous or the Touch Glorious Face Primer. You guys, I'm obsessed with this primer. Everything is mineral based, so it's not gonna clog your pores or anything like that. You don't have to worry about any wild ingredients that are gonna like mess up with your skin. And I'm just gonna start to press this into my skin, focusing on my T-zone, but I'm gonna be like feathering it out in addition to that. This is the Unique Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. I am in the shade Eyelet. I can easily, oh, I'm sorry, I love my eyeshadow. I can easily color match you guys, no issue, and you only need a teeny tiny bit. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm just gonna put three little dots and just dab and set. That's literally all the foundation you're gonna need for your entire face. I have you guys completely zoomed in. Well, as far as my camera will go, and I'm just gonna start to buff this into my skin. I'm dotting it around first to distribute the product, and then you just gently blend it in. And then you start with a little bit. So then if you want a little extra coverage in areas, you can go ahead and go in with a little more. So I'm just going to dab it my chin. And I'm avoiding my under, like, I don't want to go too high up in my under eye area, but you guys, seriously, I'm using this small amount of foundation, but it just blends in so easily. Like, my skin, it still looks like my skin. It's just a more perfected version of my skin. Okay, so the third item that you get in the Kudos bundle, so again, it was primer, foundation, and then the next is concealer. I'm in the shade Velour. Um, and you see a teeny bit right here. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to start to blend it out. So lightweight and pigmented it's just so comfortable I do want to balance it out so I'm put a little here and here as well I'm like extra quiet today I was like so hyper yesterday and the day before and then today I'm just like me I'm in a good mood I'm just kind of quiet I think it's just because I'm, I'm a little extra tired today it is still like really early but luckily, my daughters are still sleeping, so I'm able to complete this whole video without them terrorizing my makeup. So that is with the concealer. Oh, God, you guys. It's just, you look like yourself, but it's just, like, <clears throat> it's so good. And so then the fourth item, you get to choose between a setting powder or a setting spray. I'm going to show you guys a setting powder today. This is the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. Let me just grab a setting brush to do my under eye. To get like super up close to, look at that. It just, it's so smooth looking. This is the eyeshadow Astute. This is what I'm going to be contouring with today. This is what I like legit always contour with. I'm just going to take this Real Technique setting brush to contour with because I want to bronze as well. Okay, so for blush today, I'm going to be taking the Mood Strike Press Blush in the shade Supple. I think the peachy will go really good with the, um, 
with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I'm just going to feather it inwards. Yes, I do. I'm going to be taking the same one I always use. This is the A La Mode in the shade Benevolent. And it's just so good. Ugh! That's so freaking good. If you guys want like that glow, oh god, you guys, this highlighter is legit everything. Look at that. It's incredible. Right here, so that when I uh, turn my head, you can see right there. So we are moving on to the under eye. This is going back into the blue honey palette. I'm gonna go in with first the um, Honey Moon right here. I'm going in with the shade of Blue Honey again just to balance it all out. I'm kind of mixing those together to make like a darker brown but with like a blue undertone. So now I need to take a blank brush, go in with this teeny tiny brush again that we used up there, and I'm gonna go in with a little bit more blue honey. Ready! So Ready start makeup. smoking that out. So now with a big fluffy brush, going in with sweet like honey, So I'm moving on to the brows. I'm taking the Mood Strike Mood Strike Precision Brow Liner. Now I'm taking the Mood Strike Epic Mascara. Alright, so I'm going in with the Makeup Forever in the shade 600. I just don't want to do anything that dark. Well, so what if I mix it with Dirty Peach? Mommy. Yes, yeah, sweetie. A little bit of Dirty Peach and mix it with the brown because I needed to bring in a little bit of that brown. So this looks good, but I want something lighter. That is the money color. Okay, you guys, and that is the final look using the, um, I really had to the name isn't on the outside. That is the, it for the blue honey palette, you guys. I freaking love it. This is definitely gonna be added into my, hang on. This is definitely gonna be added into my regular rotation because it's just so good. I love it. I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys can get any Kylie Jenner palettes, do this one. Because one, it's very unique. It's like this and subculture palette. Like I can't find other palettes like those that, you know, actually work. Um, so definitely do this palette if you're going to get a Kylie Jenner palette. Again, this is the Blue Honey palette. I freaking love it. It's so good. And then definitely if you're looking for um, a very, very lightweight uh, foundation that still looks like your skin, but it's full coverage, it's going to be the um, Kudos Bundle. Um, it ends on the 31st and, um, it ends on the 31st and definitely four more. Oh, I'm so, ex I'm so close to my goal, you guys. I'm so, so, so close. But yeah, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review first impressions and full face of makeup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm starving. It is breakfast time now. It is 7.30 right now. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah!